Lucky I gotta react to this. Lucky. Lucky gotta react to this. Albert Einstein. I have his grades here from the end of high school as well as during his time at university. And I'd like to take a bit of a look through with you to see what Einstein was really like as a student. There's a bit of a myth that goes around that Einstein was really bad at math and failed that at school. But from having a look at his grades, you'll see that Einstein was actually a pretty good student. Although his grades aren't perfect and his time as a student wasn't yeah. without struggle. Looking at Einstein's grades reveals interesting information Wait. about his life, his teachers, and what was going on in physics at the time. As well as Einstein's That's school fun. and university grades. I also have how his grades compared to his classmates at the time and also the grades of his first wife who he met while studying at university. So with that, let's have a look. Just so I know that- All right. October 1895, he fails the, the, the ETH entrance exam. October 1896, graduates from Arguel School. October 1896, he was admitted to ETH at age 17 in August 1900. Graduates from ETH. He was in a, four so years. Was 16 and a half in I'm looking at Einstein's grade. I'm reacting to a video. To the ETH University in Zurich, Switzerland. But he failed the entrance exam. The yeah. normal age that you have to be to even take the entrance exam is 18, so he was trying to get in early. The entrance exam had a scientific section, which do you still want to play? did quite well on, as well as a general section, which was his downfall. Okay. Apparently he got quite low grades in the linguistics questions. After that disappointment, Einstein enrolls in right. Argyle School which is a secondary school near Zurich in Switzerland, where he will continue his education and graduating from this school would allow him to be directly admitted to ETH without having to do the entrance exam again. So this first document I have here is Einstein's final grades from his year at the Argau School. Herr Albert Einstein from Ulm, which is the town in Germany that he was from, Born on the 14th of March, right. 1879, that's Pi Day, the 14th of March, attended the Canton School in Argau. You might have noticed this is all in German, so I'm giving you a bit of a translation, although I don't speak German myself. These are the subjects that he took and his grade. Now, a grade of six is the highest one obtainable, it okay. would have been very good, and a grade of one would be very poor. All right, so, so he, got, he got B's. He got nah he got A's. A A plus is six. A is just a five. So he got A's. He was a pretty good dude. Six, six, six. Oh my god, guys. Albert Einstein is a part of the Illuminati, guys. Algebra, he's got a six there. Geometry, including trigonometry and analytic geometry, a six as well, the highest score. Descriptive geometry. Physics, again, a six. So he looks like a pretty good student here at those subjects. Chemistry, a little bit lower, a five. Natural history, art drawing, and technical drawing. So his lowest grade here from when he was leaving school would have been French at only a three out of six. Mm. But he is clearly a very good student at these scientific, you know, math and physics subjects. And there we go, he graduates from this school in October 1896, allowing him to go straight to ETH. And this here is his grade record from his whole time there at university, Albert Einstein. On the front of the grade record here, this is referring to the entrance exam, and ordinarily they would write your entrance scores here, but since he was able to have direct entry from school, that is empty, and we just have his... Admission date, October 1896, and his exit date of August. We're going straight to college. This would be the grades from his first semester, 1896 to 1897. We have the subject, the teacher, the grade that Einstein received, and again, one is the lowest grade and six is the highest grade. And then we have a column for B pluses and A's. Their translations are... Differential and Integral Calculus by Hurwitz, Analytical Geometry, Your dad? Descriptive Geometry, Mechanics with Exercises, 
determinants and projective geometry. And it looks like he's done fairly well at his subjects, and there are no sixes here, so the grades aren't perfect. Over to the next semester, we have differential calculus and then physics by Weaver, or maybe Weaver. Oh. So his phone is still now, at his dad, his friend's house. Teacher of Einstein's worth mentioning because he made oh my a God. impact on Einstein during his time there. After Einstein initially failed the entrance exam when he was only sixteen, it was Weber who invited Einstein to sit in on his lectures. Um, what kind of cake do you want? Nearby. but during Einstein's what? time as a student, what kind of cake do you want? Weber seems to have turned on Einstein. My mom's getting you a cake for your birthday. A very poor relationship. Einstein thought that Weber's physics lectures were actually yeah. a bit old-fashioned and out of date. Around this time, I believe that physicists were starting to accept Maxwell's What cake do you want? What flavor? Like that into their teaching, except for Weber, who uh, didn't include Maxwell's laws at all. So Einstein didn't really have much respect for Weber, and did yeah. have his own self-learning to learn some of these things, like Maxwell's laws and other current work at the time. Bro, Einstein does not look like Einstein, like how we depict. We usually we, we usually look at Einstein, we think, damn, then they get old as fuck. Yeah, um, and so basically, Thursday, we're gonna go get ramen at this place that I love getting ramen, ramen from. And then, uh, uh, Friday night, we're gonna all come to my house. The whole group chat. I love your mommy so much. Are you crying? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. My mommy loves you too. Can you tell her I said I love her? Yeah, but what kind of cake do you want? Well, what like flavor? The, I don't know. Cookies, are, cookies, cookies and cream. cream. Or, or, or mint. Like mint Ooh, like that's hard. Mint, mint chocolate chip? Yeah, that one. Hard. Okay. I'll tell her in a minute. Also, she said you should spend Saturday at least or Sunday with your dad. We'll encounter on the next page. Okay. Okay. Mechanics, projective geometry again. And then another familiar name, Minkowski, down she here. This is Geometry of Numbers. And it's interesting that Minkowski was a former teacher of Einstein. You may uh -huh. have encountered the Minkowski name He's when so reading cool. about some of Einstein's work, maybe about general relativity, because Minkowski's space-time and a few other things under this name are quite important mathematical ideas there. So Minkowski actually, later on in life, ended up helping with the mathematics of Einstein's theory. But at this time, Minkowski was his teacher. Although, and this is a bit of a trend, Einstein actually skipped a lot of Minkowski's lectures, like he mm. did with Weber and others. Einstein didn't think that he would derive much value from attending the lectures and would rather just study on his own. We have some more classes from Minkowski down here. We've got function theory and potential theory. We'll go to the next semester, and this is where things get a little bit spicy. If we zoom in... Bro, had a one in physics? ...the lowest grade that we're going to see in this record, and that is intro to the practice of physics. It would appear that this is a lab course, and it was taught by Professor Jean Pernay. Einstein very seldom showed up to this practical course. And so Pernay gave him the lowest possible grade of a one. And he wrote this note up here. Yeah, one second after I finish watching this video. Reprimand from the director on account of the video is fourteen minutes long. I'm seven minutes through. Einstein was penalized for not showing up enough to this class. His other grades on this semester include a six from Weber in Electrotechnical Laboratorium. A five from Weber in scientific work in physics lab, and a four and a half down here for something that translates as geographic location, but maybe it's got something to do with geometry, I'm not sure. I should mention that this Weber I've been talking about is not the same Weber that electromagnetic flux is named after, that is Wilhelm Weber, and this professor here is a Heinrich Weber. Mm. On our last semester here, we have partial differential equations. AC systems and AC motors, systems of absolute electrical measurements, 
scientific work in the physics lab where he's got a six and a five, so very high grades. Intro to alternating current and applications of analytical mechanics. I'd want to go to that class. That class is hard as well. Indicate that he didn't take the course, or if the course just didn't have an exam, because there are many sources that say Minkowski was a former teacher of Einstein, but all I'm seeing is a lot of dashes next to his name. This last page is his certificate of departure and seems to be a summary of all of his courses and grades indicating that he graduated with his diploma as a specialist teacher in the mathematic direction mm. granted by the Swiss School Council in July, July 28, 1900. The presence of this one and the fact that Einstein didn't show up to a lot of his classes may be a bit of a surprise to you. It is said that Einstein could not easily bring himself to study what did not interest him, and most of his time he spent on his own in joyful exploration of the wonders of science. Einstein said in his autobiography that one had to cram all this stuff into one's mind for the examinations, whether one liked it or not. This coercion had such a deterring effect upon him that he says, after I had passed the examination, I found the consideration of any scientific problems distasteful to me for an entire year. Now that is a mm. sadly relatable quote, I find that... No, nah, because like, school will really make you like, make everything not fun. Like, I used to find fun when I would play uh, 21, like cards, right? I used to take the cards, I used to make sure I was in the middle. And I would see the people from in front of me, I would see their results. So, for example, um... Let me, let me show y'all. This is actually really, really simple math. Um, so I would say the people in front of me, there would be like three people in front of me, right? So say this guy would have a, this guy would have a seven. If he, if the, if the puller pulls more than, um, uh, seven, seven times, or was it plus? So, if the puller pulls something like okay say person has 14 cards now you have to get to 21 so the puller must must pull a five or no the puller must pull a seven right so say the person in front of me does not pull a, pull a seven so it would be 14 plus eight or so Boom, 22, bus. That person bus. Second person, it would be like five. He has five. Then he stacks it on top. Six. Boom, 11. He would have to pull a 10 or something higher. Now, 11 is a safe number. So you could go, the puller could pull six. Boom. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. 17. If the puller were to pull a four, the person would have won the game, right? Now, I would see, and I would see, like, the percentage rate of how many people got busted and how many people got the 21. So, I would base my, uh, uh, I would base my answer on which to hit or stay on what the the prior per people um guessed of being tested on subjects drains your interest in that subject so much that you don't even want to look at it and it no longer brings you joy i guess you're lucky that Einstein didn't just quit his I have well, and I have seem to five more minutes find his joy and his desire to work on four more minutes problems. the next paper i want to show is a document from halfway through the degree Mm -hmm. And it shows the classmates that Einstein had. It's a pretty small class. There's just five of them. And we've got Einstein here. And we can see that halfway through his degree, if this is the average column, that he was the highest average student. So he didn't he even go to class. class. There is one notable classmate of Einstein's Who down here, that? Grossman. And he is notable because he was a good friend of Einstein's. And actually, he is who allowed Einstein to be able to skip so many classes because Einstein would study from Grossman's notes 
before the exams. Einstein was very grateful to Grossman and he said that he was a very diligent student who took very good notes. It's kind of tragic for him that Einstein, the guy who was stealing his notes, was the only one in the class who scored higher than him. After graduation, the other four students in the class, except for Einstein, went on to get assistant positions in the university doing physics. Yeah. Einstein, however, was not able to get such a position, but he did try because he wanted to continue his career in physics. His tactic of copying Grossman's notes came back to bite him because he had such a poor relationship with many of his teachers that none of them wanted to take Einstein on as their assistant. Mm. Einstein considered it to be Weber who was conspiring everyone against him. And Einstein even wrote letters out to many physicists across Europe to try and get them to take him on, but he had no success. His one salvation turned out to be Grossman in the end, as Grossman's dad was able to get Einstein his job at the patent office after a while. I even read that because of Einstein's mastery of Maxwell's laws, the patent office was happy to hire him, but I guess he really had Grossman to thank for a lot of that. Now there's one more document that I'd like to take a look at, and that is the grey history of Mileva Malik, who was Einstein's first wife. Mm. And she actually met Einstein while studying at UTH. She was in the same class at the start. She also was admitted in October 1896 and was studying the same subjects. Although she spent a year in the middle studying at the University of Heidelberg. This is the summary of her grades. You can see they're actually pretty good. We've got a five and something to do with geometry. She's done differential and integral calculus. She has survived Pernay's practical physics course. And this is the one where Einstein got a one, but she managed to get a five. Mm. Sadly, however, she did not graduate because she failed her final exam. And then shortly after became pregnant with Einstein's child. She did make one more attempt to pass the final exam, but wasn't successful and then moved away with Einstein to support him in his work. I thought it would be worth making a note about her because she also was quite important to Einstein's time at ETH, and she is the one who he did a lot of that self-study with. She was the one who he shared reading about uh, Maxwell's laws with and just exploring their joy of physics together. So that's all I wanted to show you today. Mm. If there's any takeaway message, it's that that's right. Einstein did score pretty high grades as a student. All right. How's blood's... Bl not blood. How... Does it still go on today? What's the Einstein? Da, 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 Albert Einstein. What? One second. Abraham Einstein. No. Albert Einstein. Yeah.